Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming Horror Content Creator and Variety Streamer. And this is going to be the first of many videos for Dead by Daylight this week, as it is a huge week with the launch of Haunted by Daylight event as well as today's launch of the 25.5 mid chapter. Now, we're gonna take a look at it. Just remember the finishing Mori event is not part of this and we won't see it till maybe 26.5. I don't even know if they're gonna try to sneak it in on 26 with the launch of the For Honor chapter, but we'll see. My guess is it'll probably be in the next mid chapter, but it's not here today. All that stuff with like base kit unbreakable and the finishing Mori event is not included. So all those perk changes, don't look for it. But we're gonna see what actually is in the mid chapter right now we're gonna hop on over now as always we're gonna focus on the main stuff and not include all the fixes we can leave them for being read by yourself i'll also include a link to this mid chapter full patch notes as always now the 6.3.0 mid chapter or 25.5 mid chapter starts out with its features and it goes right to the options menu social and privacy options are now located on the online tab Subtitle and colorblind options are now located in the accessibility tab and the accessibility and online tabs are now available from the options menu. Trials will now force to end after one hour or five minutes after end game collapse has been triggered. Now this is all part of this approach to not allow people to be held hostage by hackers. Prestige catch up. Now this is the really cool part for those who had characters who were level 50 and prestige 0, 1 or 2 as of the 6.10 release will receive two bonus prestige levels as though they had been prestige updated on the live build October 7th. Now here comes the flashlight adjustments. If you saw me playing on the PTB or you saw anyone playing on the PTB for that matter, you notice there's a lot of changes to flashlight. Let's break those down. The flashlight click speed is now slower. The sound effects have been adjusted so it matches the new speed. To reduce strobing and the associated dangers regarding flashlight induced seizures, flashlights now have a slight delay imposed between switching them on and off. Developer note, we are continuing to investigate issues around the aiming angles required for flashlights since the PDB. Removed press and hold interactions on challenge nodes. Complete challenges now remain in the archive widgets under claimed or replaced. A new challenge complete visual has been added to the archives widget minimizing state to better convey when the challenge you are working on has been completed. New challenge slots in the archives. Players can now select a survivor and a killer challenge at the same time. Any challenges shared by both roles can be assigned to the slot of your choice or both slots if desired. Selecting a slot when equipped challenge will navigate you to the respective tome and level of the equipped challenge. The content Haunted by Daylight event begins on October 13th. The Archives Tome 13 Malevolence Tome opens October 12th. Haunted by Daylight of Halloween event Tome opens October 13th, just like the Haunted by Daylight event. And the Hag now has new music. Optimization, performance, and under the hood optimizations done to the Huntress. Small improvements to animations and textures and archives, and optimization done to animations and audio. Now, as always, I'm gonna kind of scroll through really slowly just so you can kind of see if there's anything that stands out to you, so you can pause the video. But here come the bug fixes, and it's gonna probably be a couple scrolls worth of stuff. Now, nothing's too big, but there were a lot of things done to the mastermind. Um, and you're going to see these coming right up. Basically, a lot of things with visual effects or side sliding on Virulent Bound have all have been fixed. Stuff that went on with the first aid spray, whether it was cashing in points or uh, it not working when crouched. Issues with uh, Nurse. Death Slinger, Spirit, none of them are huge, it's just add-on problems. No, Hex Third Seal was not applying blindness, Wiretap was remaining on gens that were completed. Increase when bad network conditions, some blood web problems. Ada and Rebecca weren't getting, weren't being silent with Calm Spirit. Some RPD issues, because, well, there's always RPD issues. A little bit of issues at the saloon or records. Uh, mostly sound effect problems. Hags, traps weren't triggering in basements. 
uh, nothing too big. Uh, so like a lot of stuff that really wasn't a huge issue, but like minor ticky tatty in situational thing fixes from the PTB, fixed an issue that caused balance landing perk to trigger when bolting a pallet or window, fixed an issue that caused observed survivors not to be animated, fixed an issue that caused the spirit's hus to no longer have an animation after a few minutes in the trial, fixed an issue that caused some HUD icons to be visible after switching to Victor when playing twins, fixed an issue that caused Hunter's walking animation to be missing when seen from TPV when charging or aiming at the hatchet. Fixed an issue that caused the Huntress left hand ring visible when looking up and down while having a hatchet charged. There's still a few known issues, and we're gonna talk about those. Female survivors arm snap unnaturally when interacting with the nightmares alarm clocks. Fortunately, no one plays Freddy ever, so that's probably not a huge problem. Flashbang perk allows survivors to stack up to two flashbangs. Hex Huntress Lullabies does not shorten the time between skill check warning sound and the skill check itself. Flashlight aiming is inconsistent with previous releases. Now, this is gonna be a big one for survivors, and this is something they're working on as quickly as possible. User can be blocked on the splash screen if consents are revoked. Some descriptions on the accessibility tab remain in English and have not been localized. There's a ghosting effect around the edges of characters, model, and hair. Although present everywhere, this is slightly more apparent during a trial and on the player's screen. Skeleton cosmetics for the Haunted by Daylight event do not have a back portion of the skeleton showing. This will be rectified in the next hotfix. Now, basically, these shirts you're going to earn through the tome starting on Thursday, and they need to be fixed because they're only showing the front portion. And as you can see, it's mostly stuff that's kind of some ticky-tack fixes, some work around with the mastermind still, and of course, adding all the new stuff for the Haunted by Daylight event while of course adding the fixes to the flashlight, which still isn't completely right, as well as some accessibility features, and of course the prestige system where you got your free plus twos as long as you were zero, one, or two. And that allows you to have purple perks for like prestige one characters now or prestige three. All in all, not a huge, huge update for the 25.5 mid chapter, but we have a lot of stuff coming along the pike and I wanna hear what your thoughts are. Is there anything that concerns you? Are you just excited for the Halloween event? Cause I know I sure as hell am. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and later mates.